we've been talking about Jesus' sacrifice on the cross. But if we don't actually also talk about the resurrection, yeah. then it was just suffering and death right. and, and just almost a shame. Like, why? But this is this incredible dynamic. And I want every person to know that it says, for the hope set before him. Right. Jesus endured the cross. And what I believe is that Jesus was saying, I believe on the other side of this cross is a resurrected people. I want to read to you from Matthew chapter 27, verses 51 through 53. It says, at that moment, so when Jesus died, at that moment, the curtain in the sanctuary of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. Now, mm. that's something we need to pay attention yeah. to. It wasn't from bottom to top. It was right. from top to bottom. The earth shook, rocks split apart, tombs were open, and the bodies of many godly men and women, so many godly men and women who had died were raised from the dead. They left the cemetery after Jesus' resurrection, went into the holy city of Jerusalem, and appeared to many people. You guys resurrection power. <laughs> yeah. And I have a friend who is a rabbi who explained to me why that veil had to be torn, why that curtain needed to be rent, was that actually there was nothing remaining in the Holy of Holies. Mm. The Ark mm. of the Covenant had been taken and Jesus was saying there is nothing. It wasn't that the Holy Spirit was in prison because Jesus was always operating right. by right. his spirit, breathing on his disciples, the spirit. It was that he was saying the resurrection has happened. Yeah. There is no longer a barrier between heaven and right. earth, me and God and man. You can have this incredible power, the same spirit that raised Christ mm. from the grave dwells in you and I. And I just want to challenge, how have you guys seen that resurrection life worked out in your personal life? Well, can I take just a quick rabbit trail? Because this is one of my favorite dramatic passages <laughs> <Yeah>. in Matt's <laughs> gospel. Yes. And, and I just want to focus on it for just a second because it's so cool that Matthew gives us these details. Because, you know, the curtain was, it was 60 yeah. feet long, 30 feet wide. Rabbinic scholars say it was as thick as a man's palm. Mm -hmm. Took 300 yep. priests to move it. So we're talking mega drapes. We're not talking like living room yep. curtains. We're talking this yep. massive drape. Yep. So when it was ripped, and I love that you said from top to bottom, Lisa, which God did the ripping. Yeah. He makes it real clear. I planned the whole thing in Acts. He said, you think that Pilate, you think all these guys did the crucifixion? No, I planned the whole thing. And then my favorite thing about that story is in Acts 6, 7, you know, the temple curtain was torn in two at the exact time that they were going through the, you know, rote ritual of worship in the temple. And it says in Acts 6, so priests are standing there, you know, blessing babies, passing out candles, whatever they were doing at that time, when the curtain <laughs> rips behind him. And it says in Acts 6, 7, and many of the priests came to faith in Jesus Christ. I'm like, I bet they did. I bet that they did. <laughs> Stand in there. So I just, I love that it's almost after the sobriety of the cross, mm. you get this, it's not just a resurrection party in power. I mean, it's like nothing they had ever experienced yeah. before. It's so supernatural. Yeah. Well, think about that. That was the Holy of Holies. That's yeah. where the presence of God That's was. Right. And he said, no longer is it in there just for the priest. I am. Yep. Mm -hmm. I am loose. Yeah, Lori, I know <laughs> you've, you've been to Israel many, 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 many times. And we were yes. there. I've been there quite a few times, but I, I had the privilege of being there a few years ago on Yom Kippur. Mm -hmm. And you, Yom Kippur mm -hmm. is the highest holy day in the Jewish calendar where they believe that that's when the priest would have gone into the Holy of Holies yeah. and whoever the high priest was, they would basically give a confession for the sins of all of Israel. And the, the prayer that's said on Yom Kippur is, may I be inscribed with a good inscription. In other mm -hmm. words, yeah. I hope you'll well. forgive all the mistakes I made over the last 364 days. Maybe, just mm -hmm. maybe, yeah. I'll be inscribed with a good inscription today. And so you think the hope that was ushered in 
when that curtain was torn, that it's not, your hope isn't based on one man once a year going into the presence of God, that now we have access to the living God just immediately. He he inclines, he cups his ear, inclines his ear to listen to us. Everything about the resurrection is, it's the hope I walk on every day. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe today and you'll never miss a new upload. And don't forget to check out our Better Together shop. Thanks for being a part of our community.